Hello LEGO YouTube fans, Brick fans in general, or Pirates of the Caribbean fans, Pirates fans, Pirate Ship fans, and you know, anybody that likes this kind of stuff. I have uh, another review today for you guys. It is set in the number 4195, The Queen Anne's Revenge. Now, this set comes with two instruction booklets, one and two, and I will tell you guys now, I bought this set used, and the ship is complete, but it did not come with any of the minifigures. I do, however, already own Blackbeard, so I can show you guys him. Now, he's a pretty cool minifigure. I gotta say, there's his face, big burly beard. So I can at least show you guys him. I have a uh, Captain Jack Sparrow as well, but he's so common I don't even really feel the need to show you an up close view of Captain Jack Sparrow because he's really a dime a dozen minifigure. But here's the minifigures that it comes with. Captain Jack, like I said, and then Angelica, and she's actually the most valuable minifigure from the set on the aftermarket and even though she's cool and I wouldn't mind owning her she's not she's not why I wanted this set so I can live without her for now then we get a scrum and then a three zombie pirate crewmen but the reason why I wanted this set is for this ship this is one of the coolest ships that Lego has ever 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 created and it can go for quite a pretty penny on the Lego aftermarket these days that's why I got it without the figures cuz just right there I saved $50 And that was good enough for me to say I don't need those minifigures. Now, uh, let me uh, tip it up here so you guys can get a view inside there. I mean, it's kind of your typical pirate ship on the inside. It's it just the way it looks complete you know it's quite definitely fearsome looking a lot more than pretty much any other pirate ship that Lego has ever made including the Black Pearl give you guys a close-up of the figurehead Skull with a cup, flaming like skull guy with a cup and a spear. You can see all the the skull and bones. You know that just lace this ship. Really, really uh, make it a thing of fear and beauty. These do open, so you know you could actually pose a figure there. Oh, and even though there are one, two, three, four, six uh, of these, the first one and the last one is just for show, but these four can have a cannon, but. The ship only comes with three cannons, which is irritating. I hate it how Lego does that. But uh, 
as far as I know, this and uh, the large Imperial flagship are the only ships that can have four cannons. Or maybe the Skull Eye Schooner can as well. I'd have to check that again to make sure. But there's not many that can actually have room for four cannons. Here's the rear of the ship. You can see the the flaming uh, lantern on the back is really quite cool. More skulls and you can actually take the lantern off as so and this can uh, I'll say this does open. Oh, you have to take the steering wheel off. Uh-huh. No, that's not what you do. I guess you have to take this whole piece off for it to open, which is kind of silly. So I'm not real crazy about that design. Over here on the side. And then uh, more of the same over here. And here's the front. Another picture view of the front. Now, oops. My only real complaint regarding this set is the captain's quarters. And I know that's a lot of other people's complaint as well. Let me uh, try to get a good view inside there. It does not have a door on the front and it is the smallest captain's quarters for any you know, I mean, yeah, there's a couple of ships that don't even have one, but this this is the smallest one so far. But as you can see there on the left-hand side, there is a little Jack Sparrow voodoo doll, like in the movie. And then just some, like, drinks or potions or whatever. But, uh, like I said, this does come off, so you can get down in there a little bit easier from the top. Now for my final thoughts and rating. Now I know a lot of people like to go back and forth between what ship is better between this and the official Lego Black Pearl. You know, I, I, I don't own the Black Pearl, but I've come to the understanding that both ships are very nice, but both have their flaws. And like I said here, one of the flaws here is definitely the captain's quarters. It's, I don't know, it could have been designed better. It, it's definitely, you know, it's a glorified broom closet, basically. But uh, having said that, the overall view and, and look of this ship is just absolutely fearsome and ferocious that not only do I th would I did I buy this over the Black Pearl for a number of reasons uh, mainly including I they are doing a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie next year and the chances of the Black Pearl getting re-released were are a lot higher than this getting re-released so that did play a, you know a role in my you know decision making process but beyond that, I just, I mean, I just thought it was cooler looking. And I wanted to have a ship for Blackbeard, its official ship. But, uh, but beyond that, not only 
is this ship cool? It's I would I would say it is either the third or fourth best Lego pirate ship that Lego has ever made. The best is without a doubt the large Imperial flagship made in 2010 or 2011-ish time. That's number one with the bullet. Number two would be the original Black Seas Barracuda. That's definitely a cool ship. Now, number three, I would say we can either argue this or the Skull Eye Schooner. I think this ship is much more ferocious looking than that ship and therefore it just it has a better color scheme and everything. You know, I used to have that ship as a kid and I thought about buying it again as an adult, but I have since decided to pass on it for now because of the aftermarket price on it is just not worth it. I mean, you can get you can get this ship cheaper. You can get quite a few really nice ships for cheaper, quite a bit cheaper, you know, $100 or more cheaper, $150 more cheaper than that ship. But that aside, you know, some would say that's better than this. You know, I'm kind of of the opinion I would take this one over that one. But these are three and four. And then, and, and then I would say the, the Black Pearl rounds out the top five of the best ships the pirate ships Lego has produced. So that's my, you know, feelings on that. Now as for rating, I'm going to give this ship I'm I'm going to I'm going to give it an 8 and a half. I mean, I almost want to give it a 9, but the captain's quarters does drag it down a, quite a bit. But it has so many other cool bells and whistles and features and you know the skulls and bones and I mean just so many other things going for it that I can't knock it down too 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 terribly much. So eight and a half. So that's my review for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all again next week. All right, take care, everyone.